From one downtown to the next, we're learning new details tonight about a move that could bring scooters to Sylvania. You've likely seen people using similar ones in Toledo and Tiffin. Well, now the idea is in Sylvania City Council's hands. Roxanne Elias is live for a meeting wrapped up just a couple hours ago. Roxanne, did council give this the green light tonight? Not yet, Melissa. Nothing is set in stone as of now. Right now, City Council is trying to decide. They're at the very beginning stages of figuring out if they should bring the scooters here or not. Now, the devices come from a company which is known as Bird. They were launched in 2017. Bird has similar scooters in Tiffin, which is just a little smaller than Sylvania in population. A representative joined the council virtually today to answer questions and said a city of that size would get about 60 scooters. Bird says the scooters are capped at 15 miles per hour and are about as safe as a bicycle. But some people aren't so sure. They're worried the scooters could be a nuisance or a safety concern. They also want to know whether there will be enough room for them on the roads and somewhere for them to park. Others like the idea and they say it's something unique to attract people to Sylvania. They say it can be extremely good for local businesses and nearby Lords University. That would be a, a potential benefit of this is to be able to better connect the university to the downtown and some of the economic districts that we have. And that could be a great possibility as a way to get students uh, more mobility around the city. Now it is Bird who will front the bill. The city wouldn't have to pay for anything, but before any decision can be made right now, they have to decide or talk more on where the boundaries would be, where the scooters could operate. But before that, they will also listen to community members and we will let you know the next time that they will be meeting on the scooters. I'm live in Sylvania, Roxanne Elias, WTOL 11.